What is up y'all, it's your girl Reese and welcome back to my space. If you're new, welcome. If you are OG, thank you for rocking with me for another week. We talk everything luxury, everyday fashion, workwear, and jewelry. Today I have a jewelry video for you guys. We are talking about 10 luxury jewelry pieces under $1,000. Now y'all know if you've been here that I have recently started my fine jewelry journey. So we're doing this together. So I wanted to share with you guys pieces that are on my wish list and pieces that I have found that I think are absolutely worth it under $1,000 USD. So let's hop right in. We are going to start with rings. So first up on my list is the David Yurman Renaissance ring. So this is a very popular, very famous David Yurman style. This is like a cable chain, which is really what they're known for. They do bracelets, they do rings in this style. So the ring is a cable chain ring with like the two gemstones at the end. So you have the option of an 18 karat gold, yellow gold, or white gold, and then a gemstone. So they don't cover all of the gemstones, like first stone situations, but there is a, a lot of them, especially if you choose yellow gold, I think there's more options than the white gold. So for me personally, I would do the yellow gold in the Peridot because I'm an August baby, and that is my birthstone. So I would wear that one personally. And I think for me, that would be much more of like a summer spring piece because Peridot is not a gemstone that I think translates into like the winter months for me. Uh, this comes in at a price point of $875. And I think that is really, really wonderful, especially because it is a brand name and it is something that I believe that would live in my collection forever. Okay, next up is a brand that I don't own, but is absolutely on my wish list. I just don't know which one I want. So this is the Spinelli Kilcullen Solaria MX ring. So this is, oh, I am obsessed, y'all. This is like the stacking style rings. So good. I think they go from like three stacks to like eight stacks of ring and they're all connected. It's just so good. There's like diamond options, all the, the different golds, yellow, white, and rose gold options. It's just amazing. If y'all know me, I like to mix metals. I am not opposed to mixing metals. I like them all. So this is absolutely the brand for me. So the ring I featured here is 18 karat gold, yellow gold. So it's a yellow gold in the middle. And then there's two silver rings up top and below. And then they're connected by little rose gold, like little ring connector bits. It's just so, so thinking good. This one comes in at $960. And I think it's so nice. Like I have the um, Cartier Trinity and it very much gives that vibe to me. So I'm very much about this ring. Okay. Last on my rings list is a ring that is on my wish list, a ring that I have tried on in store. I really, really want it. It's stunning. So this is the Melanie Ald Diamond Love Knot. I think that's what it's called. And it is like a Cuban chain style ring. It is so good. It is iced out in the diamonds. And y'all know I'm an icy girl. I would prefer diamonds on everything if I could have it. So it's thinking good. This is the only piece on my list that is slightly above a thousand dollars, but I had to include it because it's only a thousand and forty five dollars. Like it's just slightly. And I believe, you know, if you sign up, you get like 10 percent off. So technically it's under a thousand or you can wait for sale season, which is what I'm doing. And you can get a little bit extra. off. OK, so like I said, I tried this on in store and it's so, so nice. Like I think the Cuban chain style uh, it's one, some a style that everyone loves. And two, I think that it can be done very, very gaudy, especially if you have diamonds included in it. But this is done so like dainty and delicately and like really feminine. I just think it's beautiful ring without being like too, too over the top when it's super iced out. And I mean, that's very hard to achieve all those things at once. This is a 14 karat gold ring and diamonds, of course. All right, up next is bracelets. Now, first up is a piece from a brand that I actually recently followed on Instagram, but I was like doing research and I didn't see that they have like brick and mortar or they weren't um, stocked in any department stores. So I could go actually try it on. And I really do like to try on my jewelry before I purchase it online. But coincidentally, I went out with a girlfriend and she had the smaller version of this bracelet on. And I was like, oh, perfect. <laughs> I get to try the brand right in front of me. And I wish I took like video uh, of this, but I forgot to do that. But like I said, the second one up is Kin Studios Cobra Chain Bracelet number two. So she had the number one version on there, which is a little bit more dainty and slender, where this one is a little bit more um, bold and big. 
So this is 14 karat solid gold. Everything Kin Studios is solid gold and it's yellow gold and it comes in at a price point at $907, which is pretty good for what it is. Like it's a, it seems to be very large on your wrist and if it's solid gold, then it's pretty, pretty good for the price point. And when I tried on my friends, it was like a hefty piece of jewelry. It wasn't like super, super light by any means. You could tell like this is solid gold for sure. Okay, up next for bracelets is a Tiffany bracelet. Y'all know we love some of Tiffany. We all wanna be Tiffany girls, okay? So personally, I don't love a chain bracelet with like a single charm or something on it because I feel like when you have your arms down, the charm, always somehow like migrates to the back of your wrist and just sits there. So it looks like a plain ch like chain bracelet. And if you're gonna do that, you might as well wear a chain bracelet with nothing on it, which I do. <laughs> I absolutely do. So that's not my, my favorite type of bracelet. So this Tiffany bracelet is like a charm bracelet almost, or it has something on one side of it and it's a chain on the back. So this is the smile bracelet. So you guys know it's like that bar with the, the T's at the end super cute it's like a signature for them now but it's quite large it looks like on the front of your wrist and then it has the ch the chain on the back so i feel like because the charm is large on the front it's not going to migrate to the back like it won't turn so often and if it does it's easy to just like flip it back to the front so you can you know show what it's meant to show okay so this is 18 karat yellow gold and it comes in at a price point of 990 dollars all right, next up is earrings. So I had to include my favorite earring. I am obsessed with it. So first up is my Maria Tash Diamond Lotus Earring. I wear it in my tragus. I am absolutely obsessed with it. I just think it's so unique. I included it in the list because it's such a unique piece and it literally goes in any part of your ear. Like I'm wearing it in my tragus, but I think it would look stunning in any part of your cartilage ear, like a flat piercing, a helix piercing, and even on like your lobe in anything but the first hole. Personally, for me, like this is the three millimeter one, which is quite small. Um, it is 14 karat yellow gold, white gold, or rose gold. You can pick and it comes in at a price point of $985. Anything larger than that, you can go four millimeters, five, six, and I think it goes up to like nine. The price point obviously escalates and it is like a diamond and and gold earring and they're only single so personally i don't buy matching earrings unless it's my first hole because i like the first one to match but the rest of them are just whatever like my ears don't match ever because nobody can see your both of your ears at the same time like you you can't like you can't to see a full ear, you have to turn your head. So I honestly don't think it matters. My piercings don't match. Like it's just not who I am personally. But like I said, this is just such a stunning piece. It goes so well on all of your ear piercing holes, except for the first one. <laughs> Unless you're trying to be extremely minimal, then yeah, for sure. And yeah, I have nothing bad to say about this earring. I am obsessed with it since I bought it. I think I got it last year. It hasn't been a full year, but you know, maybe like last summer or something. It's been a while. All right, up next is a hoop earring. <laughs> Y'all, I am a hoop gal. The bigger the hoop. I won't finish that sentence. <laughs> so as a hoop girl, I find that finding solid gold hoops in like smaller sizes is very, very easy. But as you get bigger, it's hard to. And I really love like thin hoop style and I find like it's very hard to find it in like a solid gold. It's very easy to find it plated or vermeil or just like fashion jewelry but hard to find a solid gold one and as I get older I'm trying to find pieces that you know I can wear forever. So I'm not gonna lie to you this is not something I own but while I was researching for this video I ended up buying this so it's on the way to me right now as we speak. So this is the Zoe Chico large thick wire hoop large size in a 14 karat yellow gold and the price point is 785 dollars it's pretty good it's pretty good so this i would say is like a medium style and i did measure it um like this compared to how large the zoe chico is going to be and i think that it's going to be great it's going to be an everyday earring for me or maybe not an everyday but um you know like a good piece because it's so thin that it can go with literally anything i wear to go out you know it's if you're doing a lot with your outfit like right now i'm doing a lot with my outfit i'm wearing a feather top 
but I, I could still add the Zoe Chico earrings because they're very thin. It'll still be nice, but not over the top. It'll just give that like light hit of gold in my hair with my feather top. It would just be perfection, perfection. So I'm very, very excited to get that. I think it's a pretty good price point for what it is. It is solid gold, so well, we ain't mad about that. All right, last but not least, we're going into necklaces. So first, let me say that I'm quite minimal when it comes to my neck. Everything else, I'm a little bit more of a maximalist. I like to see, you know, like I want to be a little bit more fun and, and large, but my neck, I'm a little bit more of a minimalist. So all of these are fairly minimal. I'm going to start with the first, which is the rope chain, which is very, very popular everywhere. Everyone does it. Everybody and their mother does it. But I have found that a lot of people do more of like a shorter choker style. Like this is sitting on my neck at, I think, 16 inches yes 16 inches right now there is an option to do 18 i find that a lot of the rope chains are like 16 inches and then they're sitting at a very very high price point so i was able to find one that goes a little bit longer because sometimes you don't want a choker style and if you're trying to layer and everything is short it looks crazy you gotta have options okay uh, this necklace is from the brand true curated designs which i have a lot of pieces from and they wear beautifully this is 10 karat solid gold yellow gold and you have the option of buying the 20 inch or the 22 inch and i feel like this is 16 so maybe 18 here 20 would be here and then 22 could be long like that's really really good i think that that is just chef's kiss this comes in at 520 or 25 dollars usd uh it is a canadian brand so when i try or when i convert it it was like a random <laughs> us number <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like great for the price point and solid gold and so you can wear it And I like I said, I do have a lot of true curated design pieces and I wear the hell out of them and they still are in wonderful shape Okay, right, next up is a Necklace very similar to this this one I didn't really add onto the list because I've talked about it so much before I really love this This also is a thousand dollars. The majority large diamond is 14 karat gold. It is 0.26 karat diamond it's beautiful. It comes in at $1,000 on the dot. So if y'all interested, I'll link this one below too with a discount code. But I wanted to add something different because I talk about this one so much. This is the Blue Boho Supernova Diamond, which is very similar to this, but it's a just a little bit more unique. I feel like a lot of brands do this style, but this one is just a little bit special. So it is a yellow gold necklace with a diamond in the middle, but then it has these like little rivets on the outside. It's just stunning 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 it is a adjustable length so 15 to 16 i believe yes you can adjust it from 15 to 16 inches so this like i said is 15 so 15 would be a little bit shorter more choker style necklace and the price point is 948 dollars usd usd so just stunning very similar to this style like i said but just a little bit unique a little bit a little bit special and last but not least is a necklace that I've tried on and I quite liked, but I felt like it was kind of not the perfect length for me to stack with this necklace. So I didn't pull the trigger, but I do think that it is absolutely stunning. And if you weren't stacking it, I would highly, highly suggest it. So this is the Blue Boho Honey Dipper necklace. It is a very minimal 14 karat yellow gold necklace. It is adjustable 15 to 16 inches again. And it has just these like four like teardrop situations that are like equally spaced out on your neck and i think it's just beautiful like so dainty so stunning absolutely beautiful and the price point comes in at 498 dollars so pretty 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 solid price point i love this necklace again like if i wasn't trying to stack which i am trying to achieve right now i just don't know what to do next i would have definitely bought it to wear by itself but that's not where i'm at in my life right now Anyways, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below which piece you would buy. And please feel free to suggest in the comments what pieces that you have or you've seen that are under $1,000 so I can check them out. Because girl, I'm always shopping, okay? And I'll see you guys next video.